Hey, Miguel Adorati here for the CRP, and we are doing a boxing report on a shocking night on the zone and Madison Square Garden hosting the downfall of Anthony Joshua. Andy Ruiz Jr. breaking through against the IBF, WBA, and WBO World Heavyweight Champion, getting the stop in round seven. Ruiz Jr., a major underdog heading into the fight. Joshua expected to overcome Ruiz and move on to bigger and better things. Eddie Hearn unleashing his world heavyweight champion on the American audience, and it didn't go his way. Early on, it was going Joshua's way. The fight being managed methodically. Andy Ruiz Jr. coming forward, but not doing any major damage. Joshua, by round three, comfortable enough to let loose a big punch that sat Ruiz Jr. down. Uh, it looked like it was going to be a, a problem with Ruiz Jr. down that the fight would go all Joshua at that point, but Ruiz Jr. got up and responded in the third round. He returned to drop Joshua twice, changed the aspect of the fight. Ruiz Jr. got up, maybe wasn't hurt. Joshua did look hurt, was stumbling around after the first knockdown, and uh, the bottom line is is he didn't seem to recover. Round four and five, a little bit uh, uh, saw both fighters kind of take them off and recover and get their feet back under them. By round seven, Joshua once again unleashed a big punch on Ruiz Jr. Ruiz Jr. did not go down. This time Ruiz Jr. responded immediately, and Joshua went down. It was the beginning of the end for Joshua. The referee stepped in at the minute 27 mark of round seven. What does that mean for Joshua's uh, fans? It means that Joshua has no belt at, at this time, and he is probably not going to be the A-side for any of his fights. Now, uh, you know, with uh, Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury at this point, we'll see if any of the other guys stumble. Joshua will probably have a rematch clause against Ruiz Jr. Look for the rematch later this year. Look for it to be in London if Eddie Hearn is, is uh, you know, is worth his weight as a manager and a promoter. He will have those uh, uh, items in the contract forcing Ruiz Jr. into that match. So we'll see how that goes. That is the most likely uh, outcome there for Ruiz Jr. He's on top of the world right now. He was a plus 1350 underdog, so anybody who bet on him, have fun. You made it yourselves a good bit of money. CRP bettors and CRP watchers, we were looking at the over-under. The over-under was set at 6.5. The fight ended. Three seconds before the midpoint of round seven, so your money was safe if you bet the over. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, our suggestion to bet the over was bet the over, Joshua will win. And uh, Ruiz Jr. getting in the knockdowns in round three could have ended this really early, but uh, it did last till the seventh, so uh, your CRP uh, dog watch kind of bet was safe as well. Thanks to ASP for that. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens in the heavyweight division. A lot will go on. We will definitely report more. We will hear fallout, obviously, from the Dante Wilder camps. I'm sure Tyson Fury will not be quiet. Joshua appeared to be very professional after the fight, greeting Ruiz Jr., uh, 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 congratulating him, actually taking selfies with him and his manager in the ring. And, you know, that's a good loser, I guess. Um, a lot went out the window for matchroom boxing. A lot went out the window for Anthony Joshua. He's now 26-1, and one, no championship belts. And uh, I'm Miguel Adorati for the CRP. Major news in the boxing world. Andy Ruiz pulls off a miracle on 34th Street.